A major development in the Hawaii eruptions. The first lava flow now reaching the Pacific, throwing a toxic blend of lava haze into the sky. Officials also confirming the first injury. A homeowner standing on his balcony struck by flying molten rock. It's a dangerous new chapter in Hawaii, and ABC's Marcy Gonzalez is there. Tonight, that raging molten river now flowing into the ocean, creating a new danger. The lava combining with salt water, creating plumes of what's called lays, a hazy, potentially deadly mix of hydrochloric acid and small particles of glass. It can eat a hole in a cotton t-shirt in a matter of uh, a couple of hours. It's really caustic, and of course you don't want to be breathing this either. It can cause a respiratory seizure. The red-hot torrent now flowing across a highway, forcing new evacuations after destroying four more homes this weekend. That lava flow cutting a path through neighborhoods and fields, bubbling from fissures like this one, fountaining more than 100 feet in the air. And this explosive fissure blamed for the first serious injury since this volcanic emergency began on Hawaii's Big Island more than two weeks ago, blasting a chunk of molten rock towards a house, shattering the homeowner's leg as he sat on his balcony. And he's now recovering in a hospital, and tonight geologists say they still expect more fissures to open, the flow of lava into the ocean to expand, and possibly more eruptions from the summit of Kilauea. Tom? And we can see some of that haze there behind you. All right, Marcy, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.